Hello guys, yes we made it <laughs> Finally episode 4 season 3 Intoxicate Me is finally posted I know it took a really long while but as promised it's finally posted Um I know it took a while but that's because um the video to editor that I used on um, one share it kept crashing a lot and now I have a major crash this week which is why I was going to be postponed longer but since I was able to get it done in a jiffy all was good so don't forget to give a like turn on your notifications subscribe feel free to comment down series or ideas or whatever um I know Billy looks ridiculous right now but that's because this is his new look as of season four now some things are gonna be coming up in Season 3, Episode 5, Smooth Criminal, and things are about to get down, so be sure to <laughs> leave a like and everything, and have fun, you mother phantoms. You see, Marto? So distorted. Meet your enemy, because you've earned your death penalty. You've closed your eyes. Now look what you're about to lose. Your loved ones die. This is the path that you choose. Darkness lurks. Death shall come. Look at my artwork. This is my kingdom. Your world shall be mine. Your tears are no use. You're way past your deadline. Now it's time for abuse. La 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 Shiver all you want. You can't escape. You I shall haunt such dismay. You Ruby Rocks, a content creator who studies with the alphas. You may know guardians like Sir Gilbert the Tiger Alpha, Liza the Panda Alpha, Cosmo the Koala Alpha, Graham the Monkey Alpha, Peck the Bunny Alpha, and Tabby the Dolphin Alpha. But have you ever heard that Greeley had his own adopted daughter? Jane, time for a bedtime story. Coming, Daddy! Jane Puppet was her name. She had studied in Alpha School for Girls. Greeley was known for telling her story about the history of the Phantoms. She was fascinated by all of them. Jane was also a jammer, but since she was adopted, she was able to inherit magic from her father. Many of her schoolmates got jealous and angry at Jane, also because she thought the Phantoms had a good side. Jane, we're going to train for a Phantom fight. Papa balloons will be fun. Are you coming? I'm going to give you a set of purple bone arrows. I don't think even popping balloons that look like Phantoms is respectful to them. I know some of them have good feelings. Ugh, are you serious? God, Phantoms pollute your ma. They ruined Cosmos' plans, and you're seriously saying good Phantoms exist? What is wrong with you? You're just like your father, Jane Puppet, a 
ant rights activist. <sighs> I bet they would throw you down the purple room if you had a smart mouth like that. Really had tried to motion to Jane that they were just only jealous because they didn't have an alpha parent like she did. Jane wasn't really convinced. The next day was highly different because Kalia Korea acted a bit too nicey nicey at her as if planning her something. Here Jane, I thought you might like this color. Mind you, this was on Jane's fifth birthday. When Jane had put the color on, she got a deadly surprise. <laughs> In your face, birthday girl! <laughs> you wanna be a phantom supporter? I'ma let ya! But we will go through a very painful process. <laughs> go ahead and suffer, idiot. You are never alpha material and you will never be! That night, during dinner, Greeley and Jane were at the dinner table. Greeley was concerned about Jane's expression on her face. So, Jane, how was your day of school? Leave me alone. Shit. Jane? I said leave me alone, you phantom beast! Jane, what is with that attitude of yours? You never understood me, and you never will! Jane, I am your father. No, you're not. You're my foster father. There's a difference. If you really were a parent, you would care about, truly care about me. But no, you only care about your pathetic fan activity. Ha! <laughs> Guess it's your fault I'm being bullied for being a phantom lover at school. Jane Puppet, come back here. I will fix this issue with Sir Gilbert. Leave me alone. Nobody ever understood me. Just get out of my life, you traitor. Alright. So I ran because I thought a phantom couldn't love or understand me. I, I still kept setting them. Didn't know why. I had ended up in a terrified during the runaway. Then I saw him. Huh? Who is that? He's in place. I heard. <sighs> the voodoo doll. Right there. Perfect. Now, hmm, let's see. Hmm. Ah, <coughs> oh, this fog. Ah. Oh. I'll get used to it. Huh? Who goes there? Uh, just me. And who are you? I would like to ask you the same question, mortal. Well, I've been around here since I was five. And I'm... Golden Puppet. I am Billy Emiliano Crenshaw. I am the former ruler of Imangua, the Island of Snakes, and now the owner of this hollow. <sighs> you are my slave since you stepped but you fool! Seeing him and hearing him for the first time, Made me believe I was not talking to him, but everything changed when I heard him sing the song. It's calling me the voice in the shadows. Can't see me. Should I just let go? The power within my mind is a sympathy. The crisis and mercy I just faced will guide me. I'm a phantom bearer. I have so many flaws. My love is quite contagious. What will be the cause? What? 
faithfully, I should just go my way to see what that voice has to say. There should be a new era, darkness will rise. The moon will be full of purple, time for my time to shine. You are one with power, I cannot deny. Just lead the way, or will I be my dismay? This power is strong, what can it hold? It won't be long. Until it beholds the magic is inside what? it. I feel it in my phantom blood. The fractals that crystallize makes me want to paralyze. Um, what are you doing? Oh, I felt bored, so I sung the little lovely tune. I must say, though, my voice is actually decent. <laughs> Uh, I'll say. So, here's how it will go. You escape, my phantom gate puts you in a deep sleep for a short while. And how old are you? Sixteen? <laughs> you can do anything you can, but you mostly get controlled by me. You must follow my territory rules or else. And sweetie, I don't allow you to go outside. No, no, no. You stay in here. If I catch you outside, it's your last breath. If, but if, you don't really want death, I could go for something much worse. Uh, okay, okay, I won't go outside. Sheesh. And that would do something perverting to you every once in a while. <laughs> Be afraid to get exposed, I guess. Ew. Well, I'm just gonna go to a different one now. She's actually kind of... Oh, shut up, Bailey. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, gosh. Ah, open, you stupid fence! Ah! Uh. <laughs> Are you? Don't look at me like that. Answer me. What's this? Uh, thank you. It's still really nice to get an answer. I said, wake up, mortal. Real to Rose and Hannah, I'd like to ask about too. What? What? To but in the spot. What? Dreams, huh? Interesting. What was your dream about? <sighs> well, I saw this guy who pretty much looked like you, only with green markings instead of purple, and he. Gave me a rose. Mind you, he just looked at me and had no expression, then disappeared, and then I woke up to you. Screwing it in my face. She finally knows. Oh, um. <laughs> uh, what? Ugh, that was a weird shock of dizziness. And to this day, as soon as I knew about the moon happening, and with Agatha coming to warn me in my dream, I started my journey heading out to Mount Trevor. I started my journey heading to Mount Trevor, and then I had found it. He told me the reason why he's in awe was because he was looking for a Queen Rose Fire Turtle.
place, and maybe it unexpected. He might have changed. He has no business laying on a princess chain. A princess! I don't care. His mother wanted him dead. Everyone there has been wanting him dead. The first step he takes... Well, I guess you're somewhat right. But he fought for six years. He had a plan that was already busted already. Do tell me, Jane, what other information do you know about Rose or Fracto? Well, I don't want to say know much about Rose, but when I came to the family mansion, I couldn't find a trace of suspiciousness when going in or passing past me, though, like a bit familiar. But I'm still trying to learn more about Amanda, so, no. I heard there was some kind of wedding live. I obviously hadn't time to watch it, but I heard Billy crashed it. The new Fast Affairs were evil. Sons of bitches. I would shoot that murder fans around completely. In my own lives do not matter to me. Billy! Hey, Billy Crenshaw? Oh boy, you're going crazy! Who doesn't know the snake prince? Anyways, I'll be so happy once Fracto and Billy are both dead. <clears throat> I know two people I know are trying to kill him already. Two cute female foxes. One wrapped in bandages, another one burnt to a crisp. And the moon era doesn't exist at all, not to me. <sighs> oh, you bet! The moon era does exist! That's why Billy's not true evil! This fighting power! Possessed, my ass! If he were possessed, it would be Rosalia's fault, not the frickin' moon. What fairy tale do you live in? <sighs> I should not have worked at that mental hospital for you. I hope Fracto and Billy both die. And I will bring Rose back to Fantopia where she and her mother will be happy rolling together at you, you piece of flying alpha shit. <laughs> we're not even made to be alpha, you. Ian, I. Uh, it's it's not whose fault it is. It's the solution to fix it. And I don't care about being an alpha anymore. Who never and will ever understand me, Aiden. Maybe I'm right to be off on my own. Really smart mouth. Aiden! I told you I don't need you. You don't need me either. Let me out. Go, and I'll be off. No, I will not let you go. You're coming to the fa- Shouldn't you not even go into the fancy zone? It's a no gym zone. Gosh, you are so fucking dumb. Why? Why would you do this? I don't care how much perfect I am. Who you are is in the eyes of the beholder. I am that beholder. I am who I am, and you should accept that. You're the one who should perish. Not me, not Fracto, nor Billy, but you. There's someone who doesn't understand. You're a disgrace here. At least one to me! Well... Wait... I give up. Princess Scott might... Alicia wrote... Mutant... All my friends are gone. My own kingdom is gone. And... I, I make it... Myself against people for any reason. I... I... I'm sorry. Just what God did shit to you. Aiden, I... Both of us are sorry. I suppose you've not heard me. Musketeer Aiden Natalie Magic Rose of Cascade. Well, what use? Because, you know what? Forget it. It's gone. 
I'm at your sleeve. I'm sorry to bother you, Miss Puppet. I decided to head toward Phasmia after that. Sympathetic about Aiden, but decided to go about my way. The hospital had caught me, and I decided to go in. And you wouldn't believe who I s Oh, wait. Tom, where's Rose? Screw it. Come on, Jane. We need to save our world. Just a beast, and if the 
find out your true form, you're in for a huge storm. Cause when the perfect 